Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks, and in today's lesson, I'm responding to a viewer who wants to have Excel automatically supply a background color to a cell based upon how many days it's been since the last contact with the customer. So let's set the scenario over here. The viewer wants a green cell background if the date of the last contact with the customer has been within the last 60 days. Now I've done this using conditional formatting. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. However, it's important to understand that these techniques will only work if you're using Excel 2007 or Excel 2010. And that's because in Excel 2007, Microsoft made a major improvement in the rules that are available for conditional formatting. All right, so why did this cell get automatically colored green? Well, let's take a look up here at the current date. I use the today function up here in cell B1. The today function is a volatile function. It will automatically update based upon the date in your computer system's clock. Now down here, August the 15th, 2012 was typed in by someone at our viewer's uh, company. Now, if you take a look over here at the function that I've used, I've used the today function, which is today for today, 910, minus the cell value for the date of last contact. So it has been 26 days since the last contact. Now, when you're using conditional formatting in this case, you want to be able to write a formula that will evaluate to true. If the formula evaluates to true, then supply the formatting. All right, now let me just stop one more second and go back over here. Here's the today function. It is a volatile function. It will automatically update. Notice over here in C1, I've said, give me the value that's in B1. So the value here in B1 and the value in C1 are exactly the same. What's the difference? B1 is formatted to be a short date. C1 is formatted to be general. Now, why the number 41,162? Well, let's go over here and type the number 1. It's in general formatting, and if we change that to be a short date, we get January 1st, 1900, which happens to be the day that Microsoft began keeping track of time. So trivia question, September the 10th, 2012, is 41,162 days since Excel began counting time on January 1st, 1900. So a function that uses the today function will automatically update to give you the date that was 60 days earlier. So if you take a look over here, this date 60 days ago is a, a smaller date than today. That seems to make sense. So we're going to apply rules over here. This is the rule that I wrote. Equals the date cell in this row. Is it greater than the result of today minus 60? If the value is true, then format it so that green cell shading is automatically applied. All right, let's come back. Select the cells that have conditional formatting, home tab of the ribbon, and in conditional formatting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, clear the rules for the selected cells. Okay, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to select those cells once more, conditional formatting, and I'm going to say I want to create a new rule. It's going to be a rule that is based upon a formula. And remember, the formula must evaluate to true for the formatting to apply. So we begin our formula. And by the way, I have a cheat sheet over here. So this is the formula that I'm going to be typing in. B5 is the active uh, uh, cell for the selection. So it was the first cell I selected. So equals cell B5. It's greater than the today function. And remember, when you write this, to put the left and right parentheses, minus 60. If the formula evaluates to true, then I want you to format those cells using green as the background cell color. Click OK, click OK, and there you go. 
See that formula evaluates the true, therefore the formatting applies. All right, now for conditional formatting where we want to format the cells with a red background color, this is the rule that we want to write. So again, let's come back here, make our selection, conditional formatting, and this time what we're going to do is we're going to manage the rules. So from the rule that we already began, we want to add a new rule to it, which also uses a formula. Once again, equals, and we're going to make a reference to cell B5, which is the active cell in our selection. But this time we're going to say that it is less than or equal to the result of taking the today function, left and right parentheses, minus 90. So if the formula evaluates to true, then apply this formatting, red as the background color for those cells. Click OK, click OK, and there you go. Now, the third condition is a little bit more complicated. We're using the AND function. Now, the AND function is a logical function. In this case, each of the logical tests that you have in here, and here's a logical test, this logical test must evaluate to true, and any other logical test that you have in there must also evaluate to true. All right, so once again, let's come over here and make the selection of the cells that we wish to apply conditional formatting to, and we're going to be managing the rule. We want to add a new rule to this. And again, it's going to be a rule that uses a formula. So if you wish, pause your screen, print it out if necessary. Equals, use the AND function, left parentheses. Our first logical test is that B5 is less than or equal to the result of the today function, left and right parentheses, minus 60. You separate logical test with a comma. B5, which is the active cell, is greater than the result of the today function, left and right parentheses, minus 90. And don't forget to close off the pair of parentheses for the AND function. So if the answer is true, then we want to apply orange. Click OK, click OK, and finally click OK. And there you go. It really is fairly easy. Now it will, I, I guarantee it, will take practice. And that's why I created this little tip sheet over here. So I'll move it over here a little bit closer. This is what you want to use as the rules if you want to go back and recreate this exercise. So it's a lot of fun, and I really do urge you to write this out ahead of time. For example, here's what I did, and I'm going to uncover or unhide these, uh, these columns over here. So right mouse click and say unhide. So I actually went through and I created the logical test. I wanted to make sure that I was getting the right result for contact date that has been within the last 60 days, contact date that falls in the range of 60 to 90 days, or last contact date that has been longer than 90 days. So the formatting will only apply if the formula answers true. Now I'm going to continue uh, this demonstration in, a, in the next lesson. I'm going to show you how you can extend conditional formatting to additional cells, as well as how you can use another great feature in Excel 2007-2010 of sorting by color. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.